Well, well, well. It is a new year. It really is 2024, isn't it? It's uh, happy, happy to be here. You know, it's a uh, it's a good time. It's great. I figured that I should do this little intro video for the year. I guess even though there's been videos before that, that's okay. A little, a little intro video where it all started in the shop. I could have done it from home. I could have been lazy, but I decided this year to not do the lazy route and instead come here where it all began four years ago. It's been almost four years since this channel's been alive. That's a, that's a long time. Wow. Holy moly. Things have changed, obviously. And that is what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to give you guys some changes, not many, but you know, there are some things happening and I want to give you guys the rundown on what's happening with all the content creation and some personal life updates. Yes, this one is going to pull on your heartstrings. It, I, I truly believe it will. Uh, I've been looking for a good medium to discuss this stuff, some of this stuff, and what medium better than the start of the year video. I, I think it's quite quite a good time I think it's very fitting right so buckle up get strapped in grab a snack or some food or crossword puzzles sudoku whatever you like to do when you're listening to things and just sit and listen just sit and listen I have a I have an itinerary in which I'm gonna go over these things and then it's word salad from there no scripts no nothing nothing like that so obviously, since this is on YouTube, we'll start with the YouTube update. Uh, nothing's changing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, thanks for the update. For, for real. Um, for the last couple, few years, it's been Digimon non-stop, with a lot, a little bit of here and there other stuff, and that's it. We're still doing Digimon stuff, thinking about it up in the market watches to three a week really soon. We'll see what happens though with that, I don't know. Uh, the one a week comment video, I love them, so we're going to keep doing them. And then just other stuff, the other Digimon videos, Sunday Showdown. Uh, depending on the week is very hit or miss, so we'll we'll play by that by year for now, see what happens, and then just go from there. And yeah, um, there should be no more Lorcana content on this channel. I know last year there was a bunch because you know we were working up to the release of that game, but this year nothing. I got this got its own channel. You should subscribe if you want to go there. Yeah, and that, besides that, just mostly Digimon or Bandai related stuff and. Maybe, maybe the odd little bit here and there. I'll give you an example of this. Uh, Adventure Time Card Wars. As you guys may remember, I uploaded a video November 10th. How to play Adventure Time Card Wars. This is because of the 10th year anniversary. They're releasing new cards. Cryptozoic is new cards. And that's a cool product. And that's all we know for now. Um, I'll probably do another video when that comes out. In September, whenever that is. Um, but if something else happens and a video should arise that needs to cover it, then it will! You know what I mean? I'm open. Adventure Time Card Wars is actually a lot of fun. Really skilled game, I enjoy it. But yeah, besides random stuff like that, still Digimon, blah 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 blah. I still have my investment tower up there of stuff. Still grows, still gets bigger. One day I'm gonna cash it in, it's gonna be a very happy day. But until then, uh, we're just chilling, having a good time. Alright, great. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Not Yu-Gi-Oh! There's no Yu-Gi-Oh! update! <laughs> so, I'm glad we covered that. Um, we'll move along to uh, other things. I have a Patreon, as you guys know. Uh, the plan is to do some more videos that you can't find anywhere else, and deck profiles that you can't see anywhere else, or at least before they come onto YouTube. Uh, if you guys want anything else, let me know! And Metafy is going to be the same. I'm not going to lie to you. It's actually hilarious. So, for those of you that don't know, I coach on Metafy, right? Digimon coach on Metafy. I guess Lorcana coach on Metafy too, for what that's worth. But yeah, um, yeah. Um, that I have not. I have not received a single coaching request since Bandai announced that they were removing invites from nationals. I think that pissed a lot of people off, which I'm going to get to actually shortly. An update. But, you know, ironically, no coaching requests since. Why, why, why do I gotta get coached to top of regionals? It doesn't matter anymore, right? I don't know. But uh, nationals, um, if you guys want coaching for that, then, uh, yeah, I, I still do that. I still will do that. I'll still help you. I'm gonna talk about nationals here in a moment. But yeah, 
that covers the YouTube, the Patreon, the Metafy. Yeah, I'm still on Twitter and Facebook. At Twitter, I... God. Ever since Elon Musk bought it, I feel like Twitter's become more and more of a cesspool of just garbage. Uh, so I don't take that platform really seriously at all, but I am there. Uh, same with Facebook. It's fine. Whatever. Okay. Okay, great. All right. I'm saving Twitch for the last. I'm saving, saving Twitch for the very end. I would like to talk to you guys about something. The, the non-content related stuff, I guess. I guess it is content related. Partially? I don't know. You guys judge for yourself. Um, as y'all are aware, uh, I have very good competitive credentials in this game. I'm not a world champion or national champion or that. But, you know, I've won two Bandai events, and I've topped at least a dozen more besides that. I, I think I'm good. And, you know, I, I think I have enough of a competitive uh, mindset and statistics to show that, yeah, that Mario guy is what he's talking about. Yeah. And that was a very intentional decision back in the day. Uh, I went really, really, really hard on the competitive aspect of the game because I thought that back in 2020... Shit. I don't have time 2021. So 2022, uh, I was like, you know what, I'm going to push myself, push myself, push myself, get those reps, work it out, and that's going to build a competitive following. And it sure did. I, I was completely right. Um, I built a lot of viewers and subs on YouTube and Twitch for that matter because of my competitive, you know, areas of, of accomplishment. It is what it is. I can't lie. It, it's true. It's numbers. However, 2023 had a really interesting thing that happened in the Digimon world. Competitive Digimon went down the toilet, flushed 10 to 15 times, and the plumbers had to go in there and like plumb it real good in order to get a little shit down the drain. That's Competitive Digimon 2023. Bandai fucked it. Between the no invites needed for Nationals, announced way later in the year, by the way, and the Ultimate Cups, just, you know, stagnant prize support and uh, a boring format for a lot of people and lack of IRL events people were pissed off in terms of competitive play no store championships getting invite I know it was another touchy subject for some people yeah it's it was a very bad year for competitive one and an interesting event transpired that my competitive base of viewers on YouTube left why well some of them went to One Piece and other card games and some of them were just like, there's no point in playing competitive Digimon anymore. And I'm like, you know what, I can't blame you for saying that. I still think it's fine, but you know, whatever. And no, this is not a Digimon is dying video. I'm actually taking the opposite stance. Digimon is very much alive, and I think Bandai is taking the right steps to fix the competitive side in 2024. So I actually have very good prospects for Digimon. I think Digimon is going to do great in 2024. I hope I'm not wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So that's all well and good, and that's great. It's very nice that Bandai is going to try to fix it, in my opinion, and hopefully they do. Hopefully they do indeed fix the competitive scene, because One Piece took a lot of good players away. They really did. Uh, and it's sad to see, you know, but it is what it is. Now, why am I mentioning this? Well, there's also been some personal updates going on in my life, so I'm going to... I'm gonna tie this all up in a neat little bow. And I know I might lose a few viewers by saying what I'm about to say. If I do, whatever. Well, life moves on, and that's fine. Um, I am going to be taking, off, taking my foot off the gas pedal when it comes to playing in competitive events. Period. End of story. Uh, Nationals, uh, for those of you that don't follow me on Twitch, you might not know this. But the same weekend of Nationals, there is a Lord of the Rings concert in Toronto. And I like my Lord of the Rings. I like going to Toronto. And either either way, I'm going to be either in Toronto with friends or with Nationals with friends. It's going to be one or the other. And I can't pick both, unfortunately. So uh, in, in respect to this decision of cooling off the competitive play, I'm not going to Nationals. I'm just, I've decided that I'm just not going to do it. Some of you might ask, why? And that, that's a very good and thought-provoking question. And I'm going to give you a very thought-provoking answer to answer that question. You see, in my quest for competitive... Um, what's the term I want to use? Competitive respect, so to speak. Well, we'll go with respect. 
I ended up turning into the person that I used to be when I back when I played Yu-Gi-Oh competitively. Back when I played Yu-Gi-Oh competitively, I was a fucking asshole. Oh my god, I was like the worst person to be around if I was playing that tournament. You did not want to play against me, I was a dick, a douchebag, like, I made you feel like garbage just for sitting across from me. And like, tilting my opponents left, right, and center, doing the, oh god, fuck, this hand is so bad, and then I just OTK them. Like, that, that kind of mentality and attitude. It's not something that you want to see when you're playing at a regionals. It, I did, did it for a reason in Yu-Gi-Oh! and it worked. It, it is what it is. But then I stopped competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! when Necroz got hit and I decided to myself, yeah, I'm done with Yu-Gi-Oh! for multiple reasons, but... I became a lot healthier person when I quit Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively because I wasn't that asshole anymore, so to speak. And in the last competitive year of Digimon, or last year and a half, I should say, Man, I really, really, like 2022, 2023, I was turning into that person again, that monster, that, you know, that person that I didn't want to be. Uh, I, I felt dirty. I felt like a douchebag. Like, for, I, like, some of it, you know, I streamed live and I tried to be nice because I was streaming live and whatever, but yeah. I became a sweaty, overly competitive asshole, and um, it, it has it did numbers. It did numbers. My it also creates some un unhealthy, you know, transactions in my life. For example, I'd spend my free time testing for big tournaments when I should have spent that time, you know, maybe hanging out with a female companion that I was with, or something else. Literally anything else, really. But no, I spent all this extra time, like extra time on top of building decks, testing them for YouTube, which I'm still going to do, by the way. I'm still going to do my, my my videos, my deck profiles the same way, because I'm not going to upload a shit useless deck profile. It gets at least 9, 10 rounds of testing, and if it hits a 69% win rate, it goes on YouTube. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, That's just how it is. I don't upload poop. I know some people think my deck lists are a little quirky sometimes. But they all come from hard work and testing, and that's not going to stop. I'm, I'm still doing that, because I still have to play Digimon, I still have building decks, and I still have to make content for it. So that, that's not changing. But that extra time for competitive, um, you know, competitive time, I just, I can't talk anymore. I spent a lot of extra time competitively playtesting for tournaments. I did really well this year. I didn't win any events, but I topped every Ultimate Cup I played in. Like, frig. You know how many hours I had to put into testing those Ultimate Cups to top and everyone I played in? Plus every regional I played and I topped stuff for one. Um, I fucking spent a lot of time testing. And, you know, that does a number. Well, this happened in 2022, by the way, too. It does a number on your personal relationships, not to mention when you actually get to the tournaments in front of someone and you're actually a douchebag in front of them. It takes a number on your life. Uh, I've been on a diet that hasn't been going well. Because I haven't had time to fucking go to the gym. Because of one reason or another. But, you know, when I was playing competitive events, it was like, oh, now I gotta spend time playing these events and testing and blah, 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 blah. You know, that kind of stuff. And, and it's just another distraction that I don't really need. Um, now, for the truly emotional, transparent part, I've had either the worst year of my life in 2023 ever. It's either the worst year or the second worst year. Between freaking relationships falling apart like I, I was I had my life partner basically someone I thought was my life partner dump me in January over a disagreement that did a number on me and then it all snowballed from there family issues moving issues freaking work related issues like like non-stop shit just spewing out all year and uh playing competitive events did not help that if anything it hindered that so uh i need to spend time working on myself and fixing my life and making myself a better person and i literally can't do that if i'm playing competitive digimon because my inner psyche my subconscious won't allow me to do that it just will not i've tried to turn it off i've tried turning off the douchebag the beast that no one wants to see, and no, it, it, it doesn't turn off. So, with that being said, and between the previous explanation of that my Digimon 
competitive views kind of fell through the wayside anyway, uh, I think it's a good time to stop really playing competitive Digimon. Like, really playing it. I'm still going to sign up for tournaments, and I'm still going to play them if I have time. I'm not going to play test as heavily as I was. I'm still in my regional invite for 2024, though I'm sure I'm going to do that the first regional I play, because I'm that good. I'm not, I'm not concerned about anything like that. But we're definitely taking our foot off the gas, because, like, I, I, I want a healthier life I need to fix my problems in my life, I need to fix myself, and I cannot do that if I'm playing in competitive events. It's it's almost better off to just go outside for me and touch some grass and just, you know, relax and do nothing. If I'm just lying on my bed, staring at the ceiling, in terms of becoming a mentally healthier person and a less of a douchebag person, and fixing my issues in my life, staring at the ceiling in my bed for three hours straight will be a lot more effective for me than playing at an event for three hours. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, so there was my massive life update dumped into that whole I'm dropping competitive Digimon play update. And, like, I'm still gonna pump up the Digimon content. Why? Because I still enjoy the game. It's still fun. And other people have shown that you don't need to be super competitive in order to build a good Digimon brand. Look at the vault! Yeah, he's got a few tops in there, you know what I mean? He's good, but he builds all these casual decks, and he has what he, what works for him is his editing and whatever and whatever. And you have other content creators that just talk in front of a camera and don't really do anything, and they're not super competitive either. They do, do great. So why can't I join that mass? That niche I had of being uber competitive and providing competitive insights. It doesn't need to exist anymore. Uh, should that change, I'll let you know. But I think this is the way forward for me for now. And that leads to Twitch. <laughs> the Twitch. The Twitch streaming. Okay. Well, to start, I'm not going to stop making Digimon content. I still like holding my Digimon tournaments. I still like commentating my Digimon tournaments. And, you know, they're basically all giveaways now at the end of the day, anyway. Last few tournaments have been for free. All my Twitch tournaments are for free. Uh, I, I basically turned into a big giveaway channel. It's uh, really funny, but it is just the way it is. Giveaway, but for a competitive edge, so to speak. Um, yeah. So there's that. I, I'm not going to stop the Digimon content. By the way, did you fill out that form? That, uh, that form for my Twitch stuff? If not, fill it out. It's in the description. Anyway. However... As some of you might recall when I started streaming a year and a half ago, and yes, it's only been a year and a half since I've been streaming. I got Twitch partner in my first nine months of streaming. I'm that good. But any, anyway, anyway. Um, I was starting to be a variety streamer. That's how I wanted to stream. It was meant to be an outlet of fun. Like, and just stuff I want to do. I played Yu-Gi-Oh! I played old formats. I played Pokemon games. I played a little bit of Digimon because I was a variety streamer. It was cool. And I enjoyed myself, and it was fun, it was casual. But then I got sucked into the digital world, and I couldn't, I, I can't, es couldn't escape it. I just fucking went with it. And I was just like, boom, 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 you know, one after, one after another. And before I knew it, you know, a successful Digimon career on Twitch. I, I, you know, I had months on Twitch this year where just Twitch alone could have been a full-time income. Straight up. Just, just straight up. There were some months where that was just the way it is. It could have been a full-time income. And then other months that with that tied in my YouTube it could have been a full-time income. Now, that'll never honestly satisfy me because I'm trying to like retire. I'm 31, I'm old, okay? I, I gotta stop, start worrying about retirement and other stuff, you know, old person stuff. You know, there's all that, right? All right, uh, so, you know, having a few months, even even if Twitch by itself could earn a full-time income, you know, am I interested in earning just minimum wage, even if this is Twitch streaming? No, 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 no. That's why I have two businesses and I trade stocks. That's, that's why I do what I do. Anyway, so on that note, I am going to be slowly transitioning back into my variety streaming routes. Slowly. Slowly. If I'm not streaming Digimon, I'm streaming Pokemon. That, that's, that's all it is. Um, for now, Pokemon. 
could be Nuzlocks, could be Shiny Hunts, maybe VGC on a casual basis. Again, I don't want to be super competitive. By the way, aside, I tried getting back into the Pokemon training card game competitively, and I thought to myself, I could do this. I couldn't do this. I was turning into the same fucking person, so I just turned that all off. But anyway, that, so that's going to be Twitch. It's going to be two to three weeks, two, two to three weeks, two to three days of Digimon, and it's going to be whatever other day is Pokemon, and maybe some Pokemon after Digimon. I, I just want to grow the variety streamer in me without turning off the Digimon, because I love the Digimon, but I also want to do other things, because I love doing other things, especially Pokemon. I love Pokemon. So that's going to be, that's, 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 that's the plan for Twitch. I know that that all will also uh, cost me some potential views on Twitch and some subs, and maybe I won't be able to do Twitch full time anytime soon. <laughs> wow, good thing I don't do that all my life, right? So you know, if I could ever transition being a variety streamer into like a full time thing, like for real, for real, that would be great. And I'll be working actively towards that, but I have to build my base as a variety streamer first. I should have been doing this in 2020... 2022? Man, my years are just going by me. Should have done that, but I, 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 I stuck my hand in that Digimon cookie jar and I couldn't get it out. But now my hand is out of the cookie jar. So we are doing what I want to do. Finally, on Twitch. Which is good. Um, any other updates? Did I forget anything? Oh yeah, the card shop's doing great. Um, here, locally, the scene's basically dead. Um, the only Digimon, the only community left is Digimon here. Um, people just move away, stop playing, all that, all that stuff. COVID really killed it. But, um, I saw a lot online. People will message me every day on Facebook and Discord looking for cards and whatever, and, and you know, oh, I answer them, and I'll sell them cards. All that. Every day. Every day. So, I'm doing great. And that's, not, that's even without a website or whatever. You know, I can get away without having a website or a TCG player or whatever, because I have my YouTube channel and my Twitch, like, it's fine. Um, people know who I am, people know how to get a hold of me, and that's fine. And the store is just doing well, so I have no complaints. Yeah! That's it. That's it for this video. Uh, I basically spilled my guts out about a few things and gave you guys a lay, a lay in on the rest of things. A few updates, announcements, if you guys are still watching. As I'm leaving the cool stuff to the end here. I'm doing a subathon the week before Nationals. Um, or maybe the week of Nationals, depending on how long it goes. Uh, for EX5, we're starting the Thursday night, I believe, and then we're just going, 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 going until it runs out. Uh, I do one subathon on your Twitch, and it's going to be that. And that's going to be for that. And then I have some cool series coming to the channel soon, like Sealed Only 2, Electric Boogaloo, once, uh, you know, we get some IRL events that are reasonable to travel to. Another reason why I'm not going to Nationals is just because I don't want to fucking fly to California. I, I don't want to. Like, I want to be able to get in my car and drive to tournaments. And I can't do that with Texas or California or Florida. I just can't do that shit, you know? Any anyway. Um, yeah. So, whenever we get some IRL events somewhere, Seal Only 2 will probably make a return. I have it all... Almost ready to go. Sort of, kind of. Yeah. And maybe, just maybe, there'll be a few special projects on the way besides that, too. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's my big spiel entering 2024. I'm sure this year will honestly go fine. It'll be a lot of change. Uh, it'll be against the, uh, the flow of how things were going, especially on Twitch. But I, I believe that, for me, it's for the better. And I believe that if I implement things correctly and I just stop being an asshole to people for no reason, then uh, if I can grow and do what I want to do in this field. Anyway. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great day. And happy Friday and all that. And Yeah. Okay, bye.